I think of all the teams who could make a fool of you in predictions, I reckon Sydney's at the top of the pile. You could pick them to finish top two, they miss the eight. You could pick them to miss the eight, they go top two. Yeah, but I've actually got them sliding out of the eight this year. All right. Well, Sydney's the mixed bag that is expected. The way you describe Sydney is exactly how I see them. I've got them standing on the edge of the precipice. I don't know if they're going to cling on and hang on to a top four spot or whether they're going to tip off the other way. Contest on offer here. Wits doing the right work for Collingwood. Tip it there as well. Parker immediately onto it. There is Jack. Sold some very nice candy and goes long and direct. Yes. Frost out. Muscled by Buddy. Saw it better. Buddy directly in front. In isolation with all those numbers down there. Just lost a touch on his body. There is Buddy. Look at this. They're going to get to him. They've come from all directions. Welcome back, big boy Buddy Franklin. The house will come down if this goes through. The second to the brown low of 2014 in his first year at Sydney. He's got a lead that he wants to pick off. And Isaac Hanger was the man. The kick fell well short. He could mark it off hands. Robinson did well. The turn, ball over the top. Knocked down, run through. They goal again. And this time it's uh, Patley with a long ball. In comes Heaney, off hands. Marley Williams was there before it even hit the deck. Out the back, soccer off the ground. Patley, the young fella, has got another one. His second goal. With a centre clearance. Just get the ball in there and something happens. And Patley, he's been outstanding. It's an adventurous kick. It's a McCather and another debutant. They are absolutely on fire. This is Callum Mills. Hatley's on fire. He kicks it to Hewitt. And again, the first game is combined with Joe. During his third season in Sydney, he played outstandingly for the Swans in the Needle last year. And George Hewitt on debut kicks in Spurs and they get around him from everywhere. Hewitt, the skipper. Can he get it back on his left foot? Wanted to find Bud. Bud got cleaned up high again. First goal of the game, buddy. First 40 seconds of this match. He's dropped a couple since. He loved that one off the boot. Buddy is back and he's got his second. So he is just going brilliantly. 709 career goals for Buddy Franklin. Got, he's got seven years of the 10 years left. Still got seven to go. High ball. And here he is again. Maybe six, he'll have eight or nine guesses at it, but it hasn't been that many. Just got a little piece of that off the instep, a little, but he still manages the milk and right to left. Attack now, an opportunity for Zach Jones to work it out wide. Frank, he does to Hanabry. There's Buddy. Buddy's going to mark it low to ground. Let's have a look at him looking for his fourth first half goal. Familiar approach. Oh. Magnificent hit of the ball. What an incredible half of football. Sydney fans must be delighted. Written off by plenty going into the season. And Magpie fans, I'm not sure what that was. but Well by Kennedy. Now Jack just kicks it around the corner. Ramsey was there, but marking contest won by the youngster in Papley. Immediately he goes and fires Isaac Heaney. He too can go around the corner to Cunningham. And they're good. Cunningham from 45 metres out. Strokes it magnificently, Richo. First half. It's been the new faces who have been all over. Hanabry goes back with the fly. And Hanabry, another All-Australian season. He is a superstar player. Getting back and working hard. Maynard couldn't quite gather it. Tom Mitchell snapped around the body. Mitchell's kick looks pretty good off the boot. It's better than good. It's goal number three for Tom Mitchell. It uh, <laughs> gets to them after the game. Well, Jones does well and kicks the goal for Sydney. Buddy turns, faces goal, says, I'll take you on, Jack Frost. Frost got him, though. Lloyd now the handball to Kennedy can go inside. Little kick, they can keep going here if they like. An opportunity for Pat Lee, looking for goal number three to start his career off. Here's Parker. The fend off, still wanted to go. Gave it to Heaney, the right, the left, back on the right. Snap over the shoulder, well done. Ramsey got it off Penelbury, siren sound, Sydney, a thumping 80-point win, a demolition job on the Collingwood Football Club, welcome back Buddy Franklin. It's phrased as can Buddy win another Coleman, his fourth, but really what the question is, is can he return to one of the best three players in the competition, marked by a Coleman, or, I, or have we seen the best of Buddy? I think he can. I definitely think he can. No, I don't think I don't think he'll get back into that 
into that top bracket. I think Sydney are... Oh, he's finished, I think, he No, he's not finished, but Sydney is searching for too much from Buddy. Don't gets it. It's that changes now to have Franklin roaming that midfield. Now, Franklin is a low possession getter. He's only 13 to 14 possessions a week. But what he could do is exactly what they lack. Buddy Nail looking this. for his third. Nail this. Oh, what a kick. <laughs> what a champ. A come back at him, but he's in prime position to mark. Next kick not obvious at the stage. Maybe it is to Buddy. It's obvious. Of course it is. Go for goal, Buddy. Oh. Go for home. <laughs> and show everyone on a star you are. Leading hard. Tip at the longer option. It was a bit scrappy on the way in. Might suit Buddy this. Got a late run at it. Didn't take the mark. Follows up. Wrong side. It tries to get back onto that left. And he did because he's Buddy Franklin. <laughs> so just over a minute to play. And that's... A strong mark by Naismith who goes to Buddy quickly outside 50 around Doherty. Then around Wiedering. Back to Jack. Back to Buddy. Brilliant build up. Brilliant football. Is there anyone better than this man? How good was Mills floats in. Good plan. And land like a cat. Oh, look at that. Takes off and hits Frank Lace out within range. Buddy wastes no time. This will bring the crowd alive. Oh! late in the game, it's buddy time, Swanson back in front. Oh, oh. Just oh. Well, Nathan wasn't looking, not sure what Sigler was thinking, and this could really hurt Sinclair, does he use Franklin, he has to, buddy, now what does he do, he might go all the way, he gives it a ride, it's a chance, it'll be a goal, you beauty buddy, you beauty. Centering kick, discipline kick, they come from all directions, and Franklin takes the mark. Oh, that's a great move. And that is a terrific grab going back with the flight from the big fella. And he comes, and he kicks a goal, and Hawthorne in desperate trouble. I think if he's happy and he's ready to enjoy his footy, uh, there's no telling what he might be capable of. I reckon he's primed for a big year. You need he's out got to tip it this year. I need him to kick 50 goals. 50? I don't know that he plays his best footy just as a key forward, though. I think he needs that release into the ruck. That's OK. And I, I can almost see him and bits. Callum Sinclair almost a 50 50. Does he ever kick 50? There's uh, Carlton hitting the target, which makes all the difference. Big cruiser goes up again. Tippett got the tap. Mitchell. Up forward. Beautiful mark by Cunningham. Stuck out one hand. Held it beautifully. Now the kick is out wide. Oh, another one. Oh, 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 oh. It's like the circus here at the moment. These are what he's got to make his own. He comes in right on the 50. Right. That never looked like missing. Right through the middle, and the Swans have got their first. Here's Mitchell kicking up towards full forward. And the big arms of Kirk Tippett go up and take a strong mark. Straight through. 301 goals so far in his career. Through, but not necessarily straight through. Look at Adam, straight at the ball. Back, in the back with a free kick to the Swans. Advantage has been paid. And Cunningham's left foot kick is a oh, oh, It was a laser pass. Sinclair comes in now for his second of the day. Playing in the ruck and going forward. Jared Hilly says he is that forward, underline the forward ruckman, and he kicks his second. Decides to go short. Mitchell's been busy, always is, so the handball comes into Kennedy. That was far too easy. He got away. So he back towards Phillips, and he's out marked by Tippett. And a big cruiser. He's lifted against Sinclair. He's been good in the last 10 minutes, but Sinclair does it beautifully at uh, ground floor level. Parker lurking, gets it to Heaney, has a snap at goal. That's the one they needed, Sydney, just a steady. Then he got one to grab. Fist was big to Simpson. In towards Heaney, he gets a cool bounce, but it's gone over the top. Papley, the boy from Bunyip, has done it again. Uh, and then you go to their forward line. I mean, they've got two guys who've kicked over 200 goals in their career. That's it. You know, Buddy and Tippett. And I'm not sure where Tippett's at at the moment. I mean, he's playing in the ruck for the last 12 months. I mean, that's a very expensive ruckman. Four.
the ends uh, of Sinclair in the ruck uh, will be will be a bonus for them, given the fact they've lost Pikes. Good twisting and turning, Jack. So hard to bring the ground. Even when he was on the ground, he was fantastic. Oh. And Sinclair <laughs> goes bang and Brilliant. kicks his third down the ground. Towers does well. Is this going to be another one? Robinson, short, tip it. Will go back and should kick another goal. Tip it now. Kicking for his second. Got one in the first. Leans back on a drop punt and kicks the goal. Swans firing like a belt fed mortar at the moment. <laughs> looking to go on with it. Yeah. It was fantastic early. Tommy Mitchell. And again, he just goes to 15. The tip it. And tip it the line up from right on the 50 metre line. He was about to kick his third goal. And if you get six from your ruckman, you're doing pretty well. And that's exactly what they've got. Parker on centre wing. Another good day for him. Following his 40 disposals last week. He's up to him, uh, almost 30. He's been a fair house. He's been for a while. Yeah, he has. Kurt Tibbet looking for goal number four. 305 in his career. Kicking from 55. Shit. It's a big bomb, and it's there! What a way to finish right on the siren for Kurt Tippett. A big message there to every other club. The big men of Sydney are back. Tippett finishing with four. Franklin with four. And the Swans are pretty happy. But I look at their midfield, we've got stars. But they're not a fast midfield. They're not, they're not a quick team. A bit quicker through the midfield. Has that been a focus in the off-season? Oh, not really. It's pretty much just win the contested ball for us. That's where it really starts our game. He was, he was, a, he was a star yeah, in the he making. Was. He was. And he hasn't done much since. But last year, they've had to play him in the ruck because they didn't have him in there. He was probably out of form. But he seriously needs to stand up for this because they don't have too many goal kickers. I mean, talk about Heaney. He's just a kid. Well, well, I guess the one we want to talk about here is Isaac Heaney. And, and just what a special young player that he really is, John, and he is becoming. He's only his 19th game. That he didn't think Sinclair being in or out would make any difference to the result, at which time he found out that Sinclair's father was standing next to this gentleman, who didn't take kindly to that, and he backtracked okay. very, very quickly. Special Kennedy in his 150th game for Sydney to full forward. Oh, that man, Sinclair! Just rode the contact and he kicks the easy goal. Which he does now. Well done, Mackenzie. Papley came flying through. This is pressure. It's pressure stuff. Heaney goes again. Papley. They just pushed and prodded and eventually prevailed. Kennedy, though, doesn't make the most of that. The Swans eventually synchronised in there. Well, they're out here. They're out here. They should rebound very quickly. Franklin's in space. Took Sinclair a moment or two just a, a pulse to realise they're still going to get it to Franklin, mate. One goal, two so far this afternoon. Get back on target for his four goals. We can kick Troy here. And kick Troy has. There's loose players everywhere. Sinclair, the longest of those options. Earn comes at him. Sinclair again. It's a goal. It is. Papley again. Papley, Tommy Boy puts it through. First over 100 games for Sydney. Crowd talks to him, Hutter. Yeah. The calf injury. Good for Schengen. Definitely wouldn't want to shoot. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. When we have a look at their, their back six across the board, yeah, you've got Shaw who has has retired, so he, he's moved on. Rampy is a is a solid player. Solid yeah, player. yeah and, he, and he actually can run and, and drive the ball quite well. Yep. But when you look at Richards and Grundy, I think they intercept wise are, are quite good. Grundy can take a good intercept mark. Yeah. But he's not looked convinced at all. Sets it up instead for Kennedy to go run, run at it. But you know, we, we see that happen a lot, Hutto. Taken away by Shuey and Marston. Oh, Grundy. He needed a jump. Oh, it was a massive leap from almost the stand start. Mitchell, Hewitt, McLean, Roy, Teddy Richards. Surely not from Teddy. The fullback turned full forward. And doesn't he love that? Shuri to half forward. Richards takes prime position. He did well. Another one smothered. 
can't take a trick at the moment at the West Coast. Did get a poke in the eye. Teddy's yeah. full of it too. He yeah. is full of energy. He is He's had a day cool. out, Teddy. Killed him, Hutto. Couple yeah. of seconds away from the siren. The triumphant Sydney Swans do it again at home at the SCG. Protect their territory. They're going to be hard to beat up here. I guess at the start of the year, a lot of question marks about our depth. So for these young guys that probably aren't heard of at the start of the year to come in and make the impact that they have, you know, got George Shield as well, who's coming to the team this week. It's, it's exciting to see. I reckon you would have been about 12 the last time you kicked a goal to Mark the day. Oh, the last time I kicked a goal, I was in New Zealand <laughs> playing the Saints. Sure they well. still rely on Grundy and Richards, who have been unbelievable for them. The two key defenders have been sensational for 10 years, but they can't go on forever. That's so I, I see some some thinness in a bit of their structure. Yeah, and, I, and we'll be talking about Aaliyah Aaliyah quite a bit today. It's a fantastic story. Yeah, it is. Look, it's a, it's a wonderful story. There's no doubt about that. He's had some challenges throughout his life, but um, you know, as what AFL footy is today, now it's about doing his job, and we hope he does his job. From Sudanese parents, and born in a refugee camp in Kenya. It is a wonderful story, this young lad. And he's been on the list for three years yeah. now. Good size, good shape, good athletic ability. Down to a one on one. Here's a Lear Lear. He had to wait for the ball to come, and he did it well. Read the bounce perfectly. Good lad. Gets a handball away, and he'll feel better about it already. Rampy handball. Alia. Alia does well to Kennedy. Instantly onto the boot, and now tip it. He's done well to get in behind Dawson. Just had a minute. Uh, a metre, I shouldn't say, certainly not a minute. A moment to try and work with. Oh, Didn't try and take the mark. Great understanding from McLean to Franklin to Jack. Didn't want to have the shot. Didn't make it much easier for Cunningham. Next in line, McLean, who started it all brilliantly done. Giving Brisbane the opportunity. Swans Good defense spoiler. ganging up. Rampy to Alia. Back to the middle. I wanted to start by asking you what this guy would think of this guy. Who would have thought, you know? A kid from a refugee camp could be, you know, in a different country playing a professional sport. You talk about your dad. Tell me about him. What are your memories? Very loving, caring man who just loved his family. He was very well known um, from um, our tribe. Me, me and Sasu are a Dinka person. So, you know, it was pre pretty disappointing when we lost him in 2003. So you were born in the refugee camp in Kakuma? For me, it, it was fun. Um, just playing sport, you know, we, we didn't have soccer ball, so we, you know, um, we'll try and make that from uh, other balloons and then just get old clothes that we'll rip around and wrap around, and it, it, it actually, it, it turns out to be a good soccer yeah. ball. Looks like so Parker might be doing a lockdown roll on Daniel Rich. Second quarter then from the Gabba. Lions need to respond smartly, they know that. Alia got a terrific spoil in there. Yeah, really thrust in, bang in. He's only a little fella, but he can still make an impact. Alia gets it back to the wing for the Swans. Everything he's done, he looks like he's he's doing it at the level and at the speed needed for a senior AFL football. So he'd be very pleased, and John Longmire would be very pleased with his first half. So, some good news. And handled by McVay. Alia on the job. Did well, Grundy. And they were breaking forward. Keys could have been holding the ball. Great tackle. And that is holding the ball. Really good pin tackle there by Alia. Laidla, the man to benefit, gets it long to Buddy in the wrestle. Both hands to it again, but it fell for Kurt Tippett, who couldn't help but kick a goal. The big men combined. What was your first day of school like? <laughs> I, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know English. I really can't. I can't connect with the other kids. So you fall in love with the sport, and then I hear in your, your junior days you, you were racially vilified. You hear parents scream out something, and I'm just thinking to myself, did, did they actually say that? The good thing that game was it was the opposition that actually said, oh, like, you can't be, you know, you can't be yelling that out. And that just sort of made me, I guess, just want to like, use my voice and be able to speak. Kick in Walker's direction. Aaliyah was coming for him, did well to disturb him. Keys. He'll make the right moves at the right time. Shapes the kick to full forward. Walker coming at it. Aaliyah. There's no one inside 50, so he's well, now there is. Parker's went forward. He's bolted forward. He's got the chance to mark. And he's so very good at that. Clutch moments. This bloke's willingness to will himself to the ball and to succeed is extraordinary. And the precious seconds ticked away and becomes tougher now. And that 
is four points hard earned by the Sydney Swans. Is it accurate to say that when you first came across Aussie rules, the coach said, play in the ruck or forward and you didn't know what either of those words meant? <laughs> That's true. No. I was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't really answer his question. I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll play, I'll play. Elliot really playing his first game today. It was a fantastic story. Uh, the players would have got right behind him. Yeah, for sure. He was outstanding today. He was really composed and um, I know he's super excited for the game and we're um, wrapped up the first Sudanese player to play for the, the Swans. And... Bit of a different role for you. You're playing a lot more in the ruck. Uh, you must be enjoying it. Yeah, I am. I'm getting used to it. Um, yeah, you know, you're always in the play, um, always around it. So, you know, trying to have an influence and help give us a bit of momentum. They can't afford guys like that going back because defensively they're just not good enough. They were the second quickest team on counter-attack last year. I know that would surprise you. Yeah. Going coast to coast, they're, they're the second quickest to do it. On average. But between Sam Reid and, and Gary Rowan, we, we just haven't got the footy out of them that we've wanted to over the last few years. So sometimes you don't. And here we go, Hawthorne and the Swans. Yeah, a good one too, that's very high. Tippett puts it down behind, Kennedy goes after it. Good to see him back. Watch the face, Grundy takes the mark. On the mark there, that's it. So much talk to about Grundy. As uh, Richo told us, after last week, Rowan, lovely to see him back. In other words, how thought he'll direct it. Grundy, he's got it OK. Instant, O'Brien, Kiwapolo, close to the boundary. Down in the pocket, Tippett goes back. A pretty good season, Tippett. That's a very expensive rugby. Now McGlynn, runner inside, not the man you'd want, Sinclair. Still managed to get it across to Hanabry. Hanabry goes to the pocket and Franklin takes the mark. Looks towards the middle, Franklin, and finds a teammate in Rowan. Should kick it. Nicely done. This will be interesting. Rampy, can he mark it just as well? Hugoin running hard. Hawthorne's last little chance. Great mark, Denny. Well played. Courageously, and he's hurt, I think. Kennedy floats it down towards the pocket. Tipper takes the mark. What a clever kick. This will be a handy one. Early in the second turn. Gun barrel straight. Heath Grundy having a bit of big influence on this game. And there he is again, Cam, right on cue, and a good hand to Smith, to Jack, released on the right side from this, a beautiful kick by Jack to a magnificent young player. What a mark under pressure. They've got some poor kicks down there, and they have to look at that mix. That's There's no issue. doubt about that. Laidler, Rampy. Rampy it, it clears the ball. Mm. He doesn't hit targets, he clears the ball. Drifting back, big leak by Brian, couldn't hang on. Gunston, tackled by Rampy. Great tackle, got him down. Dane Rampy. As far as defenders go at Sydney, one-on-one -on -one defenders, probably their best defender. Plays tall, plays small. That is a great tackle by him. Trying to get a hand pass out of there. Heaney brilliantly done. What a hard ball. Releases Franklin. Steps around his mate Lewis. Runs down towards half four. They know each other so well, don't they? Put on the candy there. Yeah. Enjoy that too, buddy. Yeah. Coming at the football brand. Dropped the mark, though. Slapped away by McGlynn. 25 metres out. Have a look bounce. I think they'll go through for a goal. Ball squeezing out. Kennedy. Quick kick away. He's got a second, has he? He's got a second, has he? Little Benny. And the They're transition. Doing that, though. Yeah, they are, but the opposition are doing it just as good, if not better, now. So I think that's where they maybe opened up a little bit defensively throughout the year. Poppy, who half follies, neat looking kick, Gunston's been quite ramp, he's been outstanding with Grundy. Those one on one 50, oh. 50 balls, that is a good spoil. Almost got a free kick, Bruce pulling to the ground, Langford in trouble, Hewitt, that's holding the footy. Set shots, their first four set they shots they missed, they got their next three. Dennis said at one stage all their scores were from set shot. This is a good effort by Sydney to get it to Mitchell. And then Mitchell going along now. Rowan, if he can get around to Ray, oh, he doesn't have to, but he will now. That's a sensational mark. End to end stuff against the Hawks. That's big. That's three goals and he's back to coming back. She drew it to well, he shrugged them off there. And here's a chance. Maybe the long run again, no? Decides to go with a brilliant kick. It gives Rowan, who's so quick, every opportunity. Franklin's set it up. Rowan kicks his second, and they kick away. Enjoyed it. 11 points the difference. Hawthorne commanding the game at the moment. Head to head there. Gunston this time makes it three for him, and Hawthorne within a kick.
Pucci struck it well as he got the trip. I don't think it has. To Mark. Tippett's got it. Yeah. Hold on. Run. The fact that helps, doesn't it? Yep, and Tippett goals. To Segler, well, Edford wasn't looking. I'm not sure what Segler was thinking. And this could really hurt Sinclair. Does he use Franklin? He has to. But he now, what does he do? He might go all the way. He gives it a ride. It's a chance. It'll be a goal. You beauty, buddy. You beauty. Clarko saw him do it for so many years. Now gives to Franklin. Oh, that's sweet. That's a beautiful thing. It really is. They pay good money to see that. This is going to give them... Oh, nearly! Hope he's all right. Langford trying to barge and they do win. And Heaney looks like he's OK. They lost Richards early. Franklin provided some incredible highlights. And this was so important for them to win at the G against the Hawks. So Towers is the other one who's got the height to uh, grab a mark. Heads into the pocket for Franklin. Delightful. Well, that's amazing. And that was just a quick kick. Shaped to go at Boomerang initially. Still thinking about it. Don't see him kick them too often. Well, it's taken 15 minutes, but Buddy's turned up. Back was to Daniel. He doesn't. Keeps it in the pocket. Danger. And he gave it to Dixon knowing that he had no prior if he was caught. He got caught and got done for ball. That was just a hand pass to nothing. McVay opens it up, bends it back. Sensational. Quick play on. Lloyd, McVay. Franklin. Who's trying to the youngster at the moment? One on one. Just a little bit too far at the moment. Opens it up from the paint. And kicks it Franklin style. Race on, Biggs goes to ground. McGlynn kept his feet and kept it in front. Goes back to Rose. Sidesteps delightful. Hits Franklin! Gee, that's great play from Rose, isn't it? The goal number 50 for the season. Great view of it. Sun's gone down. Buddy's done it all line up. For the fist. Danger, Hunter. Kicked off the deck. Yeah, it's unfortunate and um, probably to address what's sort of happened the last 24, 36 hours. It, I mean, it hasn't been nice. Uh, what I will say is my um, priorities of support are firmly with my partner and you know, my little brother, um, who I love and, and care for very much. Someone told me it's my 200th game this week, so I'm happy to talk about football, but I'm not going to get caught into commenting in any way, shape or form on, on the family matter. They were set to go. Opening bounds, three umpires tonight. Back to just the three. Smith wins it down, taken by Parker. He hooks it towards half forward. Mackey on the way down. Enright in real trouble here. A couple of revolutions. Compete hard, bring the ball to ground. So Jack again, don't tell me a goal. Coming up, I think it is. Yep, he has. 200th game. And have a look at the reaction. We know the week that he's had, Kieran Jack, and, uh, well, a remarkable start. Yeah. Towns as well, Hannah Bree, well. flicks the handball out to a dangerous territory. Mule's got a high tackle, no free kick. Kick to full forward is a good one. It's a goal. I think it might be his first two ever. It is. It's it down towards half forward, arriving quickly, Menzel. Slips a hand pass away. A oh, brilliant tackle by Rampy. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Comes to 45. Harmless kick though, marked by Rampy. High ball going back with courage and doing brilliantly. Rampy is turning, turning, looking. Oh, towels. Oh. Well, he gets away with it. Jack's kicks a beauty. They might be in here. Pepley banging for goal and getting it home for the long way out. And right kicks the ball inside the 50. Oh, again, Rampy, so courageous. And light contact. Play the 50. That's all right. Play the 50. Not Lop's kick. Alia coming back to sort of help Rampy. Rampy's been dominant, oh, hasn't he? Okay, absolutely. Mackey got the kick away, but not good. And Mills oh, takes the mark. Oh. You think of the four rookies playing for Sydney tonight. Mills, Alia, Hewitt, 
and Pepley all making good contributions, are they? Mills, well, they've got a chance here. Hawkins, gee, Mills do well there, got the big ball down, that's not easy to do. Grundy looking for Kennedy's run, gets to Lloyd, Lloyd was the goal scorer in this quarter. High ball, Franklin with a chance here, pushed out but he did well. Jack tucks it under the arm, and yes, rolls it home. Charlotte's going to be pleased with that one. Here's the brilliant tackle from Callum Mills. 28 kilos, the difference there between those two men. Hands, Mackie kicks inside the forward 50. Well played by Grundy at the back. Down towards half forward. Going back McVeigh. Aaliyah, perfectly positioned, comes away with the footy. And strides away purposely to centre wing. Chikokatu was good a moment ago. Parker breaking the tackle, releasing Mitchell back to Parker. Wants to go to Kennedy, does. Kennedy's in scoring range. Goes for it and gets it home. Team footy by the Swans. Rowan's got the ball now. He kicks from left half forward, long down towards full forward. Papley is going back, and he takes the mark. Read the drop of the ball, just protected the space. Good mark. Well-deserved goal. Papley comes in and kicks the goal. He's got... the but eventually, these guys have just outworked their immediate opponents. In all of those areas. And you're a man qualified to talk about it. Did all of that. There goes the kick from Jack. And he's got it. That's fitting, eh? First goal and maybe the last one. Well done, Kieran Jack. Gee, that response is strong as it was for the first goal. Maybe a little more, eh? And I don't think he really teared up there, Lee, to be truthful. Yeah, you're right. It would have been a week that he would have absolutely hated. Wouldn't have wanted any of that being played out in public. But he's done what he does best. He's played good footy. Really, that was the end of many section. Selwood finishes up with the football. Sydney finish up with a victory. Stirring stuff. Kieran Jack, broad smile. Three goals tonight. Shrugged off the problem he had. A really emotion charged nine in the rooms afterwards. What was the feeling like? Yeah, it's a pretty special win to, to go down there and have, um, I guess, the crowd against you and everyone against you and then come away with a win. I think we've only uh, won before this. Uh, one out of the last ten times we've been there. So. Um, yeah, it was a really special occasion for Kieran and um, for all the boys to get around him and um, yeah, great moment and, and really good to set up our season. I get worried defensively because watching the sides that I think they'll be around this year in that in that bracket that we're talking about, that log jam. Twelve wins are they yeah, Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> for a fair while. Back in the last few weeks and he gets Buddy Franklin. Yeah, he looks to have him deep. I wonder when Buddy comes up and plays higher with him. Kennedy with the flick on Robin and ran past it. Now Papley keeps his feet. Very evasively effective. Kick to the square is good. And Naismith has taken the mark. Just for his second career goal here, the big fella. Directly in front. Shouldn't miss this. And he hasn't. So Sydney lead it by seven points. I can't pierce the skin, mate, with that kiss. Mitchell. Hannah Bree, short little ball, buddy. Now, tricky kick for Franklin here. So he'll want a few tonight to just get back up that common metal ladder ball. That's how easy it is when you're as good as Buddy Franklin. Drag the ball in. Needs to get rid of it. Hewitt it to Papley. Papley with a snap. Got it. Sydney have got their fourth of the quarter. I always thought he was more of a halfback, but... Kick inside here, Parker gets it and goes, lines up, handball over the top, now Curvis this time, no mistake. Hence, Hanabry snatched it. Now Jack, Buddy with a one-on-one. -on -one. Too big, strong, too good. Because if he was back, he definitely would have impacted that, wouldn't he? So Sam Fisher sitting on the bench, I wonder what he's thinking of when he sees Franklin come in and take control here. Roof shot, Nankervis, Stephen will need to play a blistering second half to bring the Saints back in the heart, but they continue on here. Smith, kick forward, Rowan disposed of his man. Fisher got cleaned up, but he came through, almost walked over the top of Fisher. Play of the year, Fisher's out cold, but Steve rolls. Oh boy, this is no good. Look at the Sydney jumpers running forward here. Rowan can go over the top. Buddy wanted it, didn't get it. Goes to Papley. Over the top, Franklin. He's going to waltz in and kick goal number five. Buddy 
Franklin with five. Mitchell. Short ball finds Kennedy. He'd be wrapped with that. Kennedy. He does kick it low, finds Hewitt. We'll need to kick this 50 metres, maybe just under. And that's pretty good. That'll get there. No problems. Able to get his hand on it and have an influence around the ground. And that's the way Parker kept the hand. The arms free then. Don't blind the buddy. There's another one kicking over, buddy. So that's 28. That's 28. Equal career high. Came in the third quarter with the first five goals. They went from a five-point lead to a 34-point lead in 10 minutes of footy. Game over. Sydney win. Consolidate second spot on the ladder. But we can find all these question marks over the Swans. You still have to fall back to the position that they're perhaps the most professional team we've seen in the last mm. 10 years. And the number of wins they have every year shows you how professional they are. And over the last seven weeks, he's now in the top five intercept possessions. And he's in some pretty esteemed company there, Dwayne. He's the best one-on-one -on -one contested player at marking the ball against his opponent in the competition. Yeah, at the Sydney Cricket Ground, Kieran Jack wins the toss. And we'll kick to the right of the screen. Here's Marsh on cue. Got to Alia Alia. Good sidestep. Splendid release. Hamble around. And he's out. Tippett screaming for it. Back to the goal square. He might simply go all the way and kick one of the goals of the year. Open space ahead. Just floats it. And Franklin can get on the end of it. That is delightful use of the sheriff. Needs a personal best to join, win the Coleman. He needs 13 today. Pretty unlikely, but it's a nice start. Dropped, rested, take your pick. Look Ethan out. Franklin, who's on his left, gets a lot on it, gets bending back. What Franklin can't do, can't be done. Hamble a little too slick for short. Greg caught. Outstanding tackle pressure from the Swans. Oh, Rounded him up, Tibbet collects, gave to McGlynn. He's got Rowan in the one-on-one, -on -one, and Rowan puts the Jets on. Out in front of Grimes. Heaney almost completed it. McGlynn in some space. Plenty of time to use it wisely. And now's another one. This should be an interesting. They let him. Hits the deck. Hampson Heat hits the deck. Kennedy feeds it out. Franklin's on his left from the pocket. Bends it back. Crowd about to rise as one. Edwards with him. And they take it on again from the fence. Hewitt goes inside to McVeigh, to Parker. Franklin screaming for a long ball loop towards Tippett. He gets the handle up just in time. Rowan, he hands it up to McGlynn. He goes for home and drills it. Epic stuff from the Swans. He's got four. The kick short in the end. Flicked over the top. Heaney. Oh, the flick back to Jack, straight down the spine, and another one on the board. That's 22 now. Franklin almost the free. Three quarter time siren sounds. Sydney Swans, the minor premiers for 2016. Pushed on the kick. Grimes can't get there. Left it behind. It stays in play. Opens up for Kennedy. He rolls it towards goal. He got it through. Franklin's running out of the square. He's up. One, two, three. They line up for number seven. 15 kicks, 15 possessions, 10 marks. He's got seven next to his name. Settle in. We've still got 16 minutes left. Kennedy gets his way free. But the minor premiership is Sydney's. And they've done it. In the final home and away game of the season, in emphatic style. They've got two young guns, well, Heaney and Mill. Oh, it is possible they've yeah. got the two best young yeah, kids in yeah. the comp. Yeah, absolutely. In town. Emerging Swans defender Callum Mills today became the first New South Wales born player to win the AFL's Rising Star Award. There's been some great names before me that have won this award, Goods, Buckley. And for me to, to win the award today is something really special and I'll really cherish it. Longmire's men are with us at the desk. Josh Kennedy, welcome. 
Thank you. Dan Hanabry, hello. Yeah. So the Swans have got a big hand to play. We, we forecast this at the start. Five possibles. We think you'll run the tables. Just do us a favour. Tell us about Josh Kennedy's year. Dan? An extraordinary career thus far at the Swans. Um, certainly this year, he's been as good as any. Just the way he's able to um, take control of situations around the stoppage and uh, extremely damaging what he does around, around the ball. And, um, some of his games, especially late in the year, he's just a ball around stoppages and it's, it's a joy to watch. Yeah. Josh, tell us about Dan Hanabry's year in your eyes. Oh, I think he's been probably our most consistent player throughout the course of the year. Um, you know, not many can match him with his with his running ability outside, but his hardness is something that's again at the at, uh, you know first class throughout the, the AFL. So it's an incredibly tough matchup, and um, just a credit that he's been able to back up last year, which I thought was fantastic, and uh, continue on because one of the elite players in the comp. So Luke Parker's the third, and we were saying you, you may well fill three of the eight midfield slots notionally on the field. Is in a way, it's sort of your point of difference, just that midfield depth, not just a star or two, but a real core that are at, at the cutting edge of the competition. Uh, the games last year and the games we've been poor is just our boys really lacked and our, and our ball movement at times. I think we picked up Mills as our said ball, We said ball movement, what? Ball movement. Stilted, slow, sideways, what, what, what Well, was I think most teams had a back half want to move pretty quick, but you've got to be pretty precise with your ball kicking and have good runners and boys and decision makers, all those combined. And Dane Rampy's improved. Rampy's improved out of sight this year with his decision Massive. making and the kicking. So. The, that's the area we thought we needed to improve, and obviously the, 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 the kick inside 50, which is the, the money kick, I suppose. So we've still got a bit of a way to go in the area, but I think this year we've made a massive improvement. This time last year, everyone was saying, How's, but where's Buddy, how's Buddy, is he going to come back? 12 months on, it, it's quite staggering to see the space where, where Buddy is personally. Um, there's been games throughout his time in Sydney that he's really been able to win it off his own boot. And, uh, you know, especially in September, he's a big game player. He loves this time of year, and uh, you just sort of gain confidence by being around him. Um, it's a sensation to see him so happy. You're not just in the, on the footy field, but actually away from his, away from the track. He, he's got a lot of things sorted in his life, and he's happy, and he's settled. And um, that's probably the reason why he's, he's playing good footy. And um, you know, hopefully, he can stay that way. Which the way he's going, I certainly think he can do that. plan going in was beat them up in the inside and um, kill them on the outside. Yeah, you know, we all thought about will they handle the pressure, will they be able to match it physically. To me, they were the aggressors. Yeah. They're the ones that took it on and they made a statement they were going to take a backward step and they were happy to get in the faces of their opponents. Then you'd think they'd win the game. Break even, the Crows in the middle, they can win. First semi-final, winner of the prelim. We'll play Geelong Friday night. Paul forward, Alia. Here come the Swans through McVeigh, they've got a play around, so a big turnover, Gary Rowan. Makes for an exciting game. Career high 21 goals this year for Gary Rowan, leads back. And there is the first one of the night to the Sydney Swans. Here in the week to Isaac Heaney, tumbles one forward. It's going to be an awkward ball for Harding, and he tried to slap it and leave it. Ended up in the hands of Papley, who's a dangerous small forward. So Sydney on the counter-attack, here they go. Buddy Franklin's there, off hands, McLean fronts the goal. Got a good piece of it. They've kicked three in the opening seven minutes. McKay around the corner. And just so yeah, it's a bit of a win there for Sydney. Alir, beautiful defensive punch from behind. Finds Atkins, takes the handball wide. The kick inside, smothered. So they are losing confidence by the middle to go back inside here now. Beautiful handball by Heaney. Now Kermis to Buddy. Typical Buddy Franklin style. Starts in the right spot. There it is. There it is, the drifter. Little handball over the top. Here's Hardy going to go in. Kennedy's got him. Boy, they close in on me quick. Buddy went in as well. Throwing themselves in. He could too. Another thought. Smother here by Sydney. This is a big play. Sydney have got the numbers. They try and handball down. McGlynn from 50. Set sail. Sydney have finally got the one they've been searching for. A couple of players, Cameron. He'll take on Kennedy with leg speed, the bounce nearly didn't come back up. Good chase from Joey Kennedy, and then he fell over Cameron. Well done. Kennedy was outstanding to keep pace there with the lightning quick Cameron, and they come back through the corridor, the Swans. And out here is Lloyd. Franklin wants a one-on-one -on -one with Harding, and they come back through the middle of the ground. Mitchell decides to send it, but he looks good. He's in the box seat. He's too big, he's too good. Well played, Swans. You just knew that he was going to stand up tonight at the SCG. Three goals to Buddy. Oh, the 
man, they're all the best. It's been great to make it the lead. Really good kick. Richards did well, turns around, sees Bunny, finds him, and he's found him in his favourite spot. Here he is, look for the left to right. It's on. It's beautiful. It's there. Go forward here again, Sydney. They're not done with it. It's what yet. Two minutes remain. Richards has looked dangerous up there. It spills to Patley. He's a sharp shooter, Connor. Richards couldn't hold the mark. Patley's in there. Richards again. Got a little handball. Bad bounce. Nan Kerbis picked up goal. Was that Patley again? Yes. Back to Kennedy. He's been outstanding. Mitchell wants his left boot. Got it to Hanbury. Hanbury, that's your game there. Richards. Heaney from behind. And he's found a way. He really has shown. You know, felt well tonight. What a superstar young player he is. It's Patley. See him get back up. There's a clash of heads. And on the side, it's the Sydney Swans who goes through to another preliminary final. They'll face the Cats at the end. MCG, Friday night football. With a sunny day, beautiful night. Parker charges in. Spills wide, Dangerfield. Met solidly by Jack. Silwood over the top. And they're stolen away by Rowan. Guthrie tried to pick his pocket. Kennedy, Hannibal, Jones inside the centre square. Sends it down towards half forward. Lonnie reaches over the top. Wins on points. Stops it away. Happily, those slides in. Hot one for McLean. Hooks it back. Goal! The ball, but he does get it inside 50. Ball contesting. Good result. Buddy. Franklin looks down. Wartar forward, steps around Lonnie that's a good kick! Tippett, Tippett, injured. Qualifying final. This one is off to the right, it's bending back, it's good. Smith couldn't quite. Well done by Parker, and then Mitchell to Parker, he's a good kick, Parker. He's a very good kick, they've got three. Look completely rushed at the moment. They're reeling the Cats. Need to do something here. Smith knocks it down. Dangerfield. Heaney got him. As a result, affected the hand pass. Rowan into the path of the left footer. Jack! Oh, clinically. Great kick to Parker. Look, Parker. Kick is on the way. He's got his second. And the Swans are putting on a clinic. Mitchell getting forward. Getting very forward. Franklin just manhandling him. And then gives it off. And Tippett's got another one. Make it five. Livy. Bunny, unbelievable. Xavier Richards forced to soccer his own bounce. The indignity sends it inside the forward 50. Rowan came hard, met Lonergan. The marker couldn't get through. He didn't get there. Well, he kicks instead. Down towards full forward. It's a goal. Not touched. Obviously, it's South Melbourne. And he's played it on to Franklin. It's coming back. Oh, yes, it is. They've kicked seven like they did last week. He wants to lay his strong hands. McCarthy can be in a bit of trouble. Gee, let's hope he's okay. Hey, hey, John, immersed in this game. You love this. Rowan at the bar tail. Missed it, goes in, kicks a goal. A gift. Again, not going to be a score. And Rampy, what a player he is. Andre, coming to be at the line again. Look away, hand pass. Stolen by Patley. Patley's on his way. Short one goes to Franklin. How about the acceleration from Buddy? Here he comes, Buddy Franklin. This one is on line from the get-go. He's got two. Franklin stood up pretty well, Buddy. Lonigan with him. Chipetley clever. Big name spin. It bouncing, bouncing. He's hooked the goal. The big fella. It's well played by Silver. Taking home by three round for a kick. Taking home Patley for a kick. His third. This young man making a real impression on the biggest of stages. Let's see how they go about it here, Dennis. Well, dangerously at the moment. And right, oh, holding the footy. And Rowan takes advantage. And it's a big play. So the forward 51 score, setting himself and taking the mark is Smith. Danger field again. Has he stopped working? But unfortunately, the season stops right there. Sydney are winners. They're into the grand final and their stars celebrate.
Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, in Sydney, it's not really hype. As soon as you get down here, you realise you're in a grand final. So, no, it's a good turnout and uh, it's really exciting. We've trained well. We're confident um, in what we do and we do it at our best. Um, and we're in pretty good form, so we just need to make sure we bring it tomorrow. This is so cool. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. I all my friends are turning green. Oh, great smother across him, Rowan. Kennedy, Jack, now Smith, sent away on his left foot. To the back pocket, the defender kick a goal, he can. Straight through the middle, if you don't mind. Kick to half forward. Smith, that's a wonderful mark. Well done, Hamley. Hanabry, good side for him if he gets the right no, bounce. No. Back to Hewitt, who's been quiet. Kicks good, though, to Mitchell. Calmed down. Now they're swarming all over them. So Mitchell right on 50. G's kicked it well. Oh. He's kicked it beautifully. Eastern Wood. Parker gets it forward. Oh. Touch play on Rowan. Rowan hasn't heard it. No one's heard it. Now he hears it and goes back and kicks the goal. Five goal. Heaney, here he is now. The field off Jack. Kennedy, good kick, great kick. They're in front. They're back in front. Running back is Rowan towards the goal square. Well, he was going to have the run of that, but he slipped over. Up the top, Dixon falls to Kennedy. Kennedy again! Oh, how about that? And carry. And not a good delivery. Good mark taken by Rowan. And forward, coming back is Ramby. Up the top, Ramby. Josh Kennedy, 20 disposals in half the footy. effort might beat them all. Dix, there it is, it's half time. Franklin's still a big shadow over this game, even though he's not fully fit. It's a beautiful kick. Oh. Is that 50? That's got to be. It should be 50. Virtuoso performance. And the Swans are back in front. Oh. That's what they'll be doing, Tim, whatever happens in the next few seconds. Just lost his feet. Henry in hard. Hurt himself. Henry's in trouble. I hope he's all right. Oh, no. Mark taken by Rampy. Where's Henry? Is he all right? He's in trouble. I don't think he's going to be okay at all. He's clutched his knee. He's in agony at the moment. And the trainers are carrying him off the ground. And it's right to Mark the team. Henry is on his feet and jogging on the boundary as Kennedy continues to do what he's done all afternoon. Then across to Jones, bounces it to Papley. Papley on the wing to space. Franklin is surging after this one, but it gets there. And the acceleration that time. Bulldogs dominating here. Sydney might get that goal. Many goals for the season. 12 possessions this afternoon. None of them goals. The angle opens up for the left footer. And the champion nails it. Never deviated. Passes outside the 50. Kennedy back at the arms with a hand pass. 
also forced to kick there towards the pocket. Morris jumped from behind. Boy, it was in there. That's going to be incorrect disposal. Set shots earlier today. Franklin nails one. Hewitt nails one. Back to a point. We'll keep virtually on the siren. He misses. But they don't miss out. Their day. Their year. We saw Franklin lifted, had the ankle injury, we've had a wonderful season. Franklin's been in four of the last five grand finals, Hanabry, the courage he showed, but not the first time on grand final day. Now, boys, we couldn't get the job done, but we'll be back. We're going nowhere. Uh, thanks to all the fans for turning up. We're sorry we couldn't get the job done.